So to continue, I want to show this little trick for how to really make the Sigma Metalytics if you decide to make the bold move to purchase one of these, because they are $800 right now. Um, and I believe that does include the wands. I've seen some people try to not include the wands. This is the bullion wand, the yellow one, and this is the large coin wand, or just the large wand, rather. So here's uh, what I call God mode. It's really cool. If you familiarize yourself with this mode, this is um, this is awesome. It's measurement mode. It gives you the actual numerical readout of the electrical or magnetic resistivity slash conductivity of any given coin. So if you take, say, a Morgan silver dollar and you put it on the Sigma Metalytics, it's coming up as 1.98. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me try and move this thing over a little. Nope, that ain't working. Okay, can't really move it over, but it's coming up as 1.99 for a real silver dollar. Now, a car, uh, sorry, this clad Eisenhower dollar, it's not even 40% silver, comes up as 2.34. Now, if anybody wants to know, the clads, just to prove my point, that this is not a 40% silver Eisenhower. The 40% silver ones are 24.5 grams, roughly 24.59, and the fakes are like 22. 6, 8. It's about 2 grams lighter. It's so much that it, it should come up on scale, so it's 22.47. Open, yeah, 22.47. So, it is a clad. <laughs> and that's the interesting thing, is that this thing being made of copper comes up as 2.33, and that's because copper is so conductive, uh, much like silver is. And that's why when you turn this, turn the sigma metalytics into the regular mode, where you don't hold, uh, where you don't go to measurement mode, then it can actually fool you, not the sensor, but you. Let's get that straight. Into thinking you've got a silver coin. So just to show people exactly how to get to measurement mode, you have to read the entire booklet. And I know plenty of people, especially you IKEA haters out there. <laughs> Never read the man. Never read the instructions. So sensor select. You press and hold it first. Press power. Release power. As soon as this comes on, and then as soon as this menu displays the run cal, release sensor select. Press run cal, and you're good. And also, when you want to change, if you're doing the wand, it does work. Measurement mode does work with the wand, um, and it'll also work with the main sensor as well. Just gotta press run cal again. So that's the cool. That's the really cool thing about this is that it'll. Let's see what the jeweler's loop shows up as. Five point three nine. Wow, that's something. We'll put the other side turning it upside down. Five point six three. Wonder what that thing's made out of. Silver Eagle. Measurement mode one point six five. Silver Eagle in a case. Now, this is an important thing about the Sigma Metalytics. There's a tiny air gap in any slab out there. It's very tiny, but it exists. And the plastic itself also creates, just a, just spatially, a gap between the sensor and the coin. And so it's coming up as 1.7, or 1.71. Move it around a little bit, 1.73, 1.71, 1.7. Okay, that's just really not going beyond that. But a real Silver Eagle, let's see what it's doing. 1.66. Ooh, 2, 3.08. 3.4, 3.5, 4.5, 7.0. Ooh, got to 7 and then it cut out. But you center the coin pretty much perfectly and it comes up as 1.67. Okay. If any point in the coin, like let's say this is a coin, if this part of the coin is counterfeit and this is real, if for some reason a counterfeiter did that, then by moving the coin around it should show up as a different number. 